If you're into some awesome arcade horizontal shooter action, then Darius may be right up your alley. The series has a long history, tons of games released. Originally, the series was launched back in 1986, so yes, the series is celebrating its 35th anniversary this year. And as of July 27th, 2021, Darius Burst Another Chronicle EX Plus is launching for the Nintendo Switch and the PlayStation 4. I had the privilege of playing on my Nintendo Switch a little early as a review code was provided to me. And I do have to say, having played this game before as it was originally released in arcades way back in 2010, and it was expanded upon in 2011 with some extra stuff, but this was a Japanese only game. If you have like a round one or a few other arcades that may get imports in, then you might have had the privilege of playing this game as well. I got to play it a couple times here and there, and it was always something like amazing with the whole setup, the way the game was. But with this launching on the Switch, we do have a lot of stuff going on here. With this game, we now have nine different ships we could choose from, 40 plus bosses, kind of ridiculous with how many bosses there are. We have four different modes of gameplay here. As far as those modes go, an original mode, that's gonna be pretty much our standard arcade playthrough. There's gonna be a selection of 12 different stages that all have varying difficulties and different bosses. You're gonna play through three different ones. It's a branching path. You get to select where you wanna go through as you progress. It's a lot of fun, bunch of different bosses you fight against. It is pretty short. You know, this was originally an arcade game. Quarter munch in action can be very difficult. So many things on screen at once, but definitely the original mode was a blast. My first playthrough, I think I knocked it out in about 15 minutes, but the replayability is there, even with original mode. Now moving on, we do have the original EX mode, which with that one, it's gonna be very similar to the original mode, but it has 12 new stages. They are harder, a bunch of new bosses, that kind of thing. So very similar to original mode, just an extra arcade version there. Now with Chronicle mode, I found this one pretty fun as well. You choose different missions and objectives that you could go against, fight different bosses, conquer you know different systems and the, the galaxy type of thing to liberate the areas. It's, it's pretty cool to play through. Now the event mode, this one's pretty cool as well. These were like online missions in the arcade where there was like limited timed exclusive missions, that kind of thing. On this version of the game, we have all that, plus a bunch of new stuff, exclusive missions in that event mode. So definitely a lot of fun with the different modes we have here. If you've played a Darius game before, you pretty much know what to expect here with the gameplay. Everything's fairly fluid. You could turn your ship around if you need to. So, you know, shoot to the right, shoot to the left type of thing. Uh, one option that's in the game is if you hold the ZL button, you can zoom the gameplay in, as typically these games in the arcade were like multi-screen games that took up a lot of space. And with it being a smaller, you know, it's kind of shrunk down to accommodate all that. If you're playing on handheld mode, it's still a lot of fun, but yeah, your gameplay area is a little small. Playing on a TV, I think is just fine. But if you don't like that aspect ratio and you want to zoom in, and be right up in the action, and yeah, hold that button down. Everything zooms in, but it doesn't readjust like the user interface or anything like that, the uh, HUD elements. None of that is like accommodated to that. Everything just zooms in, and as you move around the screen, you'll kind of see all those different elements of it. I can't play that way, as there's just so much on screen at once, it is very distracting playing in that style, but some people may appreciate it being there. Now, as far as like the whole package here goes, if you buy this physically, it is $39.99, and I do think you're getting a lot here with all the different modes, the ships, all the different bosses, but there are definitely gonna be pros and cons to this game, and for you, do the pros outweigh the cons? For me, I mean, can you list difficulty as a con? I don't think so. Like, you kinda have to know what to expect. The game is very difficult at times, but it's one of those things, you know, practice makes perfect. If you, you know, just get good type of thing. And you know, you can play it's on free play. Just keep continuing if you need to. Challenging yourself type of thing, get on that scoreboard. But yeah, it is a very difficult game, but I would not list that as a con. It's, you know, classic arcade style gameplay here. 
where they want you to continually be popping in those coins. So when we get an arcade port to a home console, I can always appreciate it. But with this being a complete package of tons of things here, I, I think the replayability is the biggest pro with this. There's decent variety for the type of game this is. So for the value here, for me, I, I think it's an excellent value. I'm definitely going to be buying this physically to add to my collection. But as far as cons go, they're, they're going to be a couple. Like I said, I can't really count difficulty as a con. But for me, some of the cons would consist of the bosses. So yeah, there are a ton of them. A ton of bosses. Well over 40 bosses in this game. But you'll quickly find that a lot of the bosses are just the same thing. They just kind of look different. Or maybe like a reskinned boss that has exactly the same attacks as a previous boss you fought. So a lot of like recycled, you know, combat stuff going on with some of these bosses. Not the hugest deal in the world, but definitely something worth pointing out. This game's not the only guilty party when it comes to, you know, reusing elements with bosses or attack patterns, that kind of thing. With the different enemies that can be on screen at the same time, as some of these bosses it still adds a little bit of variety to it but it did have to be said you know there's a lot of similar attacks and whatnot the only other con that i could really think of after having played this game for some hours now is the loading times the loading times are a little grating they do take a little while to get into the game but once you're in in the game i mean it's just fun so i mean it's a little unfortunate that the loading screen goes on a little too long at times but yeah, it, just worth some, you know pointing out. The loading can be a little long, and some people may not like that. But overall, I think my, my pros outweigh the cons. For me personally, it's up for you to decide if you love the Darius you know series of games. This is going to be a no-brainer for a lot of people. If you're just really into horizontal shooters, this is just another one you could add to the collection and play through it. Just one of those quick pickup and plays. Like I said... On most of these modes, I mean, they're fairly short, but with the amount of replayability with the branching paths, the different bosses and difficulties and all the different modes, it does add to the overall experience. Sure, you could just pick it up and play through 15, 20 minutes and be done for the day, but that's what it is. It's an arcade game. Arcade games were meant for short playthroughs, and I can't fault this game for that. It's just the way it is. That's how the game was designed, and I love that kind of stuff. So. You know what? If you're into it, links in the description. Comes out tomorrow, or July 27th. It's the day after the day I'm recording this video. And hey guys, really do appreciate every single one of y'all hanging out with me on this one. And with that said, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out, bye bye and boom. Bye.